What's up, y'all? This is Duena, aka Glamazon 1026, and I'm coming to you today with another nail video. We're going to be doing gold foil encapsulated glass tip nails, so stick with me and see how it goes down. I found this nail design by Shelly's Nails on Pinterest, so I am going to be trying to do this today. So I am saying goodbye to my tortoiseshell nails. I really, really love them, but it's time for them to go. I have a new nail gadget. This is the Marquette Nail Dust Collector. It does a really good job trapping all the dust that comes off of my nails when I'm using the e-file and when I'm using the hand file. It's pretty loud, but because it does such a good job, I don't mind it being that loud. So I'm just gonna turn it on right now, turn on the sound so you guys can hear how it actually sounds. They have other ones that are quieter, but they're more expensive, and this one was like 99 bucks on Amazon, so it does a really good job. Look at all that dust just flying right back into those vents. Yes. Anyway, taking off my tortoiseshell and cleaning up the cuticles, just making sure that all of the loose acrylic is gone. Next, I'm going to use my 100-180 file and shape the nail so that after I put the acrylic on, we don't have to do that much shaping. Then I'm going to push back my cuticles and scrape up any dead skin that is left on the nail plate so that the fill-in can just stick as well as the original did. Now I'm going to use the Model 1's nail dehydrator. And the Gelish Pro Bond um, Acid Free Primer. And this is what I used in the last video, the Orly Rubberized Base Coat. It's so good. It worked really, really well. I didn't have any lifting last time. And so I'm just going to put that on again just to make sure that the um, filling stays. And this is a regular polish, so I just let it dry for a couple minutes before I start with the acrylic. I'm going to be picking up the Classic Nude and crystal clear acrylic system from Valentino along with the Midas Cosmetics Gold Foil and begin this fill-in. Now remember that this has smile lines or the appearance of smile lines um, and so I'm, I actually forgot that when I was putting this first bead down and then I was like wait 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 I have to stop the flow to the tip of the nail so I can make the smile line. So some of my smile lines got messed up when I filled this but as you can see, we're about to put gold foil all over it, so it kind of doesn't matter. I waited too long for the acrylic to dry, and now the gold foil isn't sticking down on it, so I'm just going to dip my brush into the monomer and just use that to help the gold foil stick down a little bit better. I'm concentrating most of the gold foil on the glass tip part and not on the cuticle slash base of the nail part. It probably would be better if I used a regular brush um, and not my um, acrylic brush to, to put the gold foil on, but it's fine. Now I'm just going to go over all of that with the clear so that I can encapsulate the nails. Make sure that you clean up the edges so that you keep that point. I'm gonna go on to the third nail and just fill that in. Put a little bit on the tip so that we can get the gold foil to stick. And do the same exact thing. Next, we're going to go in with the clear and encapsulate. 
I'm still having a difficult time encapsulating. I don't want anything to move around. Um, and I want the clear acrylic to be thick enough so that when it's time to file, I don't file off any of the gold foil. That happened a little bit when I was doing my jade nails, but I think I did a pretty good job this time. Now this pointer finger is going to be all of the classic nude. So from cuticle to tip. So I'm just gonna fill that in slowly. I think I did a really good job filling this nail in. It's probably the best one I did. Look at that, it looks so good. Yay. Then I'm going to put down gold foil all over this nail. Um, so like I said before, for the other nails we were just focusing it on the tips. This time we are going to do it on the entire nail. Since this is like an accent nail. Y'all, yeah, is my camera work getting better? I think so. I mean, my head is still in it a little bit, but it's way better than what we started at. Don't worry, it's gonna keep getting better and better and better. Anyway, we're going to encapsulate this nail now. I tried to do a wetter bead and hold my nail down so that it just flows down to the nail, and it kind of worked. That was that was, that, that was better than any other time I tried it before, so. Now I'm going to clean up the shape with a file. It shouldn't take that long because we shaped it prior to filling. So it really didn't take that long at all. And then we're going to go in with my e-file to clean up around the cuticles and make sure that the top layer of the acrylic is flat. This also helps reduce some of the bulk so if I put too much acrylic on and the apex is in a weird spot or it's lumpy or bumpy I can take out some of that bulk with the e-file. You'll see that when I get to my ring finger. They're looking pretty good. So we're gonna pick up the buffer and just make sure that everything is buffed to perfection um, on top of the nail, under the nail. And then we're going to dust everything off, wash our hands and put on the top coat. So we're gonna put one coat of the top, Model 1's top coat on the top and then flip our nails over and put it on the underside of the clear tip nails. This just helps it look a little bit more see-through especially since we're using tips and not just plain acrylic. Then we're gonna kill for 60 seconds and apply our Simply happy oil, rub that thing in, and well, I'm gonna rub for a while because my hands are ashy. But once we're finished, we're gonna see the finished product. Bam! Look at that, looks so good. Oh my goodness, this is the best nail job I've ever done. I can't believe I just started in April. This looks so professional. Like, I'm so proud of myself, y'all. Can you tell? Oh my goodness, these look so good. Yes, I love them. I don't know how I'm gonna top this, y'all. Give me some um, ideas in the in the comment section. Anyway, here they are around the Simply Happy Oil because I feel like I need something to hold on to so y'all can see the whole nail. 
and then y'all can see the apex and the C curve and all that. Uh, how flush they are with the cuticles because I did such a good job, y'all. Ooh-wee. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.